data. Everything your business does depends on it, whether it's sales figures, performance stats, or managing your inventory. So you need to be sure that you're handling it properly. Most businesses use two main systems to manage this, Microsoft's Office Excel and Office Access. They both work well and get the job done, but they're good at different things, and there may be a time when one is a better choice than the other. Office Access is going to be the best if you need to understand how one piece of information relates to a number of other variables. Access is a relational database, which means that it actually uses more than one database at once to manage your information. An example of when to use Access would be if you wanted to use your computer to track inventory. You can link your products to the manufacturers and then to the transactions, or where the product is. There are three different databases you can use, but they are all linked. The data you enter into a relational database will usually be updated over time. Items will be added and deleted. Archive databases will remain in access, giving you the ability to create reports. Also, as new items, delivery systems, contacts, or manufacturers come in, you can create new linked tables to track them. Where access really shines is in reporting. You can pick and choose different attributes from different tables. Queries can be tailored to find a very specific set of figures from a number of different places. If you need to find out when a specific product came in, its transactions, and when it was shipped out over a given period, you can build that query in Access. Office Excel is a really more of a spreadsheet application. Excel is better at working with big pages of numbers. It performs mass calculations very well and can help you get a handle on your facts and figures quickly. It's best when there's one page of data, ideally numeric, and it's in a manageable size. In Excel, you can create charts and graphs to visually display your data so you can spot trends. The fields, columns, and rows generally stay the same once the data is in the spreadsheet, so there's not an easy way to add new variables. You can insert rows and columns, and the table and all formulas will usually automatically adjust to accommodate the new information. But you can run into complications. Sharing is another important consideration when deciding on which program to use. Are you going to be providing a file to a colleague or client so they can work with the data themselves? If so, not as many PC users make use of Access, while Excel is a very common program. You also don't need to have the same database in place to share a quick file when using Excel. It's all self-contained. What you do with your information can make the difference between making a good decision and a bad one. And having the right tools in place for the job makes it easier to get the results you need.